Hey guys, I'm here recording a small video on this game called Paddle Shinmyo Maru. It's a pretty fun game. I love it. It's addicting. And I know that's kind of like a catch-all word for any video game ever made. Even like Rise of Kingdoms. Some old people will call Candy Crush addicting. But I mean it this time, okay? I really do mean it. Uh, I'm not shilling for this game in the way that you'd think, like, you know, I'm a game advertiser and whatever. This game will knock your balls off. And whatever. I'm not like that, okay? I really mean it this time. And uh, you'll see why. It's kind of like the Angry Birds of its time. Here's the uh, controls here if you're English. Here's the controls if you're uh, Japanese. Here the con here's the controls. But I doubt any uh, Japanese people are watching this. So, uh... Konnichiwa, my dudes. And so we're going to get right into the game. Here's a small cutscene that's going to play. I'm going to let it play out. You can skip this with uh, Z. And there we go, guys. We're about to get right into the game. It's Z to start rather than enter, which is, you know, common for, for uh, games using a keyboard, but I guess it's Z this time, so that's gonna throw you for a loop, probably when you first try to play this game, and I'll link it down below if you wanna play it, and, uh, I'll really just let the, uh, the game speak for itself on, on the rules, of course these, uh, blue boxes here build your speed, and, uh, the rocks and the, uh, characters on, like, the bird and, and this, uh, ice fairy you have to avoid, and so... You can oh shit, I was gonna explain something <laughs> and I just had to do it. You have to jump with a, a Z, which I was supposed to do right there, but I didn't. So uh, Z to jump, of course, and that's to jump over pretty much any obstacle. You can jump over that. Uh, it's pretty smooth sailing, actually. You can jump over this, which I was supposed to do, and that. And uh, you're pretty much solid here, guys. Uh, this is pretty much all you need to know. Of course, it's made for a more Japanese audience. So it's going to be pretty hard. Uh, your first run, if you're uh, an American or a, a, a Westerner, as they say. So, uh, it's especially hard for me because I think my vision has a problem where I can't focus too well if things are moving fast at about this speed. But I'll try my best to... Oh, shit! Okay, narrow miss, narrow miss. I'll try my best to demonstrate the full potential this game has. Ah, oh, I was going way too fast. There's a, a boss coming up, if you see on the progress bar, uh, that I have to uh, fight. And a small trick I've learned, guys, about this boss here is that the boss will make your speed in the bottom right go down before it actually attacks you. So what you're going to want to do is actually hit like these uh, things here so that you don't go in reverse that much speed because if you had like 35 speed for example 35 millimeters a second then you're gonna go 35 35 uh, millimeters backwards away from the uh, objective so you're gonna really wanna squeak out as many dirty tricks as you can scrappy play as they say it's really a uh, scrappy that's a force field there It'll keep you safe from all these rocks and whatever. Oh, shoot. And you have to collect these, uh, P things... Uh, to kill the boss. I mean, to, to get it out of your way. Oh, shit. So, uh... The boss has really made a little bit of, um... Distance between me and the objective. And I still don't know what, uh... What exactly this is. But, uh... We're gonna try to get to it, okay, guys? And I got my little force field, so I'm pretty okay. Just keep going. I think... Uh, don't quote me on this, but I think jumping makes you lose speed so long as the boss is on screen. And uh, that's no good, okay? So try not to jump as much as possible, I'd say, when the boss is still a considerable distance away. But you can jump, you can hit uh, any obstacles. Just to lose your speed. Aw, oh, shit. And, uh... Help you, you know... Get over it. As they'd say. As they say. As it is said. And so, uh, we're almost closing the distance between us, the waterfall, and the objective. 
So I'm gonna try to focus a little bit more. And uh, we'll see, we'll see if we can uh, squeak it out, okay? There we go, guys. So we beat it. It was kind of a rocky road, but, uh, you know, we got a, a risky kind of game right there. It almost fell off the edge, and uh, but we did it. And so, that's pretty much all this game uh, has to offer, but, you know, as you saw, it was pretty, you know, it's it's time effective. You know, it's only five minutes, I'd say, or, or three minutes, maybe, to uh, complete this game. And uh, because of that, it's pretty, pretty addicting. Okay, it's the Flappy Bird of its time, as I said. So uh, that's all, guys. I hope you like this small video. Look in the description below for this game. And uh, I'll see you later, guys.